all right this is like the eighth or ninth take i hope this goes well but i'm gonna show you guys how to make a ftb server using the latest version of ftb out right now so i ran into a couple problems before when i was recording so hopefully this goes good but i'm going to be doing this as i it's just going to be not scripted so we're going to be going through this together but I found out that you need the the SDK for uh, Java, so I'll leave a li this link in the description. But although you already have Java installed, you're gonna need this version of Java. So we're just gonna knock this out of the way at the very beginning. So just come to here, and we need this version. Just make sure to click that um, except right there, and go down to if you have Windows 60 or 32, you need to download this. Yeah, 64 you need to download this so I'm just gonna click that and let that download just click keep um, it says this because it's an executable file but just click keep all right so with that downloading over there we're gonna go to FTB go to packs find the pack that you want to play I usually play on infinity evolve which is right here and go over to files and make sure the version of FTB you want to play has this plus server pack or plus one server pack right here. So I'm just going to use the latest release of F uh, Infinity Evolved. Scroll down a little bit and you'll find this section, the additional files, which is going to have the server files. So just click this and download the, or here, or here, the server does it. And um, yeah, that's it. I already have that downloaded, so I'm not going to download that again, but Let's just open up Java and let's go through this installation process and grant it access uh, when the UAC comes up and just gonna fast forward through this, but you should be able to get through this without a problem. All right, so I think this is done, so I'm just going to click close. Okay, so that FTB, um, the server does the file. I put it in a folder in desktop. So just put it in a folder and use either WinRAR or 7-zip, or I think Windows natively does it now. I'm not sure. And just click extract here to extract it. And all the files are going to come rushing out of it I'm just gonna let the sync finish and so first thing we have to do is double click the eula open it with notepad or whatever and change the false to true you click control s or just click file save and just close that hopefully this works so uh, just go to edit scroll all the way down and right here you can see that it's using a minimum of 512 megabytes of RAM and a maximum of 200 or maximum of 2 gigs so you can change this according to what you need but once you have just save it and close it all right so with that out of the way we're just going to double click it and see if it does anything hopefully we don't run into any errors all right so i'm just gonna let this run and i'll be right back i'll just fast forward through this i guess all right so you might get this pop-up so just i usually just put it as a public network just in case but just click allow access
All right, so that took a couple minutes, but it should be up now. And let me just launch FTB, and I'll be right back, and we'll test so if we can join it. All right, so while I'm in here, I might as well show you guys that. Or just go to versions and choose the version that you um, downloaded the server for. So oh, we downloaded this version. I'm just going to click update to new profile and just click continue. So this will install the, the version that you need to be playing. So I'm just going to let this portion install and I'll be right back. All right. So I think it's finished downloading. So or is it still downloading? I don't know. We're just going to click play because actually let's see what the what version this is on oh it's still installing so let's just give it a little bit more time and i'll be right back all right so i think it's finally done updating i think both of these are both the same version but we're just gonna like play on this one and i'm going to let this thing launch and i will fast forward through this portion Actually, it's going to take a while. I'm just going to skip it. All right, so it's launched. It's going to make the full screen. So just go to multiplayer. Um, and we're just going to direct connect to local host. And hopefully this thing connects. All right, so there you go. That was how to make a Minecraft FTB server. I'm just gonna go back to here, and this is your console, so you can do stuff like time, set day. And if you look back here, it's the daytime now. Oh God, it's lagging like crazy. Guessing it's because I'm recording. Anyway, um, that was how to make your own FTB server. So. Thank you for watching and leave a comment below if you have any questions about this or if you have any problems. Here, let me try. Alright. So, just leave your comment below if you have any questions or problems. I'm sure somebody else will help you if I don't get to it. And, um, yeah, that was how to make the FGB server. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.